Welcome to the Big Blue Button demonstration video uh, provided by eScience. We are, have installed a new tool into Sakai uh, which we hope will be of use to anyone that has access to our servers so that the academic staff or um, our business users. It's going to be a tool that's available for you to review and add into science as you need. To, <clears throat> we've set up a, a, what we call a joinable work site within Sakai which allows you to come in and join and uh, join the site and review it. Um, if you want to take a look at this tool, uh, the big blue button web conferencing tool, in my workspace, make sure that tab's selected white, roll down, and then select membership. And this gives you an array of membership options. It firstly shows which sites you're already associated with, but if you go to the top of the screen here where my mouse is, click on joinable sites, and you'll see big blue button appears. To join it, click join, and it says you are now a participant of Big Blue, Blue Button. Click the Refresh button in your browser, wherever that might appear, depending on the browser type you're using, and you'll see this new tab appears called Big Blue Button. I'm going to click on that now and set up a conference. So here we have the Big Blue Button conference screen, the entry point to it. This is actually going to be an area where people can discuss issues surrounding Big Blue Button, how to use it. I'll be putting training documentation in here so people can get a clear uh, idea about how to use the tool before they get going. To set up a meeting, it's conveniently called meeting, select that option in the tools menu and it brings you directly to uh, the main screen which uh, it gives you an overview of all existing meetings that are in progress or have finished but you can also select to create a new one and that's exactly what I'm going to do and I'm going to call it eScience. Now you need to uh, determine which site members you want to actually access this site and I'm going to take a look at uh, the users and select here Daniel Robinson. Be sure to select that add button otherwise that person won't get notified that there's a conference taking place. I've selected add and you can see Daniel's been added under my name here. If you want you can select when the conference starts and ends. Um, in this case, I'm not, there's no need to do it. I know Dan's waiting for this conference. He's just waiting for an email notification. So I'm going to deselect that box. Always, if you want an email notification sent out, select this box. It sends out an email to people and a link, which they click on it, takes them directly into the conference. So I'm going to save this conference. It's called eScience. That's in progress there. And now I'm going to enter it in anticipation of Dan being ready to go. So I click on the button and it takes me to this join meeting page. I click on join meeting. And there's me and there's Dan as well. Now there's just a little bit, one more, one or two more items of setup to do before it works. Because of the controls in computer, not wanting your information to be out there without your permission, you need to set up the webcam. I click on this webcam option here. And for my computer, I need to go USB video class video, but if you're a PC or Windows based user, you might need to select DV video. Try using the lowest resolution possible, um, as it can actually clog up broadband connections quite easily if you have three or four participants. I'm going to start streaming by my video now by selecting this start streaming option. Give it permission to access my computer, and there's me unfortunately my cans on. Notice the headphones I'm using. Headphones are really important for any form of video conferencing. If you don't have headphones uh, ready to go, um, do buy some because otherwise you'll create what we call feedback loops in the system. You'll get echoey and bouncing sound and it will make the conference unusable for everybody else. To finally add myself to the conference and get this thing running, I just click on the headphone symbol. I'm told that I've been placed into the conference and the conference is now live. If I want to see Dan's face, I just click on his camera next to him. This is not automatically switched on because of that reason uh, that I mentioned before about clogging up broadband connections. For example, if you're waiting a presentation, you're sitting at home, um, you might not want to see six other people in front of you. Every time you add a person, it takes away some of your broadband capacity or uses some of that broadband capacity. So, but I want to see Dan, so I'm going to double click on his camera and there he is. Hiya, Dan. How you doing? Very good. Look, some of these people that will be watching this recording, they won't be hearing what we're hearing because we've got headphones on. Yeah, but we, Dan and I, can hear each other talking pretty much real time, uh, which is precisely what web conferencing is for. Dan's nodding there, aren't you, Dan? Nice chuckle. 
It's, I'm taking De Poor Dan, he sets up the big blue button server for us at uh, eScience. Um, I'm taking away from his valuable lunch time here. But while he's online, I'm just going to show you some of the basic functions of Big Blue Button. For example, um, I will want to be giving Dan a presentation. I'm just going to move his face away from this presentation screen here. Notice it says here presentation when my mouse is running over. If I click upload presentation, I can add in uh, whatever I want in terms of uh, a PowerPoint or PDF file, which can then be presented to all other users. I know this file I'm looking for is on my desktop, and there it is. It's called ISBI 2007 PPT, so it's a PowerPoint presentation. I'm going to double click on that, and then press the upload button, and it runs it up um, into our server at eScience, and it then uh, makes sure that the file format is compatible. Not all file formats are. We've not come across any that aren't yet, so it's pretty widely accepted. It confirms the uploaded document is supported, and at the moment, it's just converting that into a format that big blue button sends out to other users. And uh, this is the presentation loading up now. And that would be the conference now underway. So can you see that, Dan? Very good. Great, great. Um, well, as I click through the slides, it updates, and it updates Dan as well. So Dan, what's the, um, for, what's the heading on this particular slide? That's great, yeah. And uh, you can see all the transitions in my slides very clearly. See my face, hear me talking about it, so you can begin thinking about using this as a presentation tool. Now, when you're, uh, there are other features in Big Blue Button also. For example, there's a chat tool here. I'm just going to move my face away from it, and I'm going to say, Hi, Dan. Whoops, I'm going to spell his name right. And I'm going to click send, and the message goes. And Dan can send a message back, of course, uh, whenever he wants. Um, so if I were in the middle of a conference uh, presentation, for example, uh, this would be a tool that you could use to raise questions to the person actually giving the presentation. If um, Dan had a query and he didn't want to send text, he could click on the little hand button here where my mouse is over, and the hand will appear by his name. Oh, you fibber, Dan. You never saw this presentation. Interesting presentation indeed. Dan, do you, want to, do you want to raise your hand just to show to people how that works? Do you want to just raise your hand just to see, show people how that works? You know how to do that. In the box to the top left of the screen, there's a little hand. And if you click on that, it puts your hand up next to your name and it tells me you've got a question. That's it there. That's it there. So um, there are numerous ways which people can uh, communicate through this. Notice also that when your mouse rolls over the presentation itself, the red button follows you, so if you want to highlight a picture or an element of a picture, um, all that information can be conveyed to all the users. Well, that completes the presentation for Big Blue Button. I'm going to end this presentation now just by clicking Log Out. Dan, I'll speak to you later. Thanks a lot. Yeah, take care now. And I'm going to log out, which will terminate the conference.